if you ask the question in physiology try to start with a flow chart hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jimbaima today we are going to talk about how to answer physiology questions in exam please this is a series last week i talked about how to answer anatomy questions in exam histology embryology gross anatomy neuroanatomy how to what outlines that the lecturers are looking for if you asked about a joint or a nerve or a plexus or a blood vessel or a canal or a foramen or a bone you know joints all this what outline exactly that the lecturer is looking for that is what i talked about last week for gross anatomy histology embryology so please if you've not seen that video i'll leave the link up here check out those videos today i'm going to talk about how to answer physiology questions in exam and by next week i'm going to drop another video on how to answer biochemistry questions in exam so it's a series for those who want to have these distinctions in this series i talked about things i regret not doing in my time that would have helped me a whole lot and things that i did in my own time that worked so well for me so what better way than to learn from someone who has been through what you are about to go through by the grace of god i just finished my preclinicals in medical school so i decided to share those tips and those tricks that nobody told me and those mistakes i made in my time that i do not want to you to make those mistakes and that is why this video is here for you so please if this is what you like subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a thumbs up like it share to your classmates, to your colleagues or to your junior if you're a senior colleague watching this i hail you my hail you sir please send this video to your to your junior colleagues this is going to help them i promise you so let us get on with the video yes I also need to add that for my new subscribers that just joined the family, you're welcome. I, I'm sure you don't know that every Wednesdays and Saturdays there is always a new video on this channel. So every Wednesdays I post everything outside medical school, my skincare routine, emotional struggle, my hair journey, everything that's outside medical school. But Saturdays are for medical school videos only. So with that said, let's get on with the video. So um, for physiology, physiology is basically about stories. They want to know what is the mechanism for doing this, what is the procedure for doing this. You know, for Renners, they can ask you something like the RAS system, that's renin, um, angiotensin, aldosterone system. So when you ask things like that, physiology actually wants stories. Physiology actually wants the paragraphs. And physiology is not so based on um, diagrams like um, anatomy, like I said in my previous video. For physiology, they want flow charts. If, if you're asked on anything about physiology that has flow chart like if you're asked about the synthesis of steroid hormones or you're asked about the renin angiotensin aldosterone system or just anything that has flow chart like mechanism of pulmonary ventilation like um, um, sec um secretory of sec blood circulation those things have flow charts so I'm, I'm going to try and see if i can insert a picture of what i'm talking about when, when i say flow chart so if, if you're asked the question in physiology try to start with a flow chart so at least the examiner would see what you are writing and have an idea that ah, this person have an idea of what she's about to say so in case the examiner is so in a hurry that he or she doesn't have the time to mark everything that you uh, or, or your or to read through all your plenty story the examiner can, examiner can just glance through whatever flow chart that you've given to them and would know that ah, this person know what is there and give you your mark <laughs> so many things happen that you would know you will be surprised the a lot of things that happen behind the scene so i'll, I'll suggest start with flowchart if whatever question you're going to you're asked has a flowchart please start with flowchart then another thing is if they ask you to list please don't go and do any extra story just list if you're asked to mention like mention the effects of hyponatremia or the effects of hypernatremia or the effects of hypovolemia or the effects of shock you don't need to write story in times like that you just when i say when they say mention you just make, probably you can make it just a sentence or you can write a heading and top it up with a sentence under that heading so if they now ask you to write an essay on that is when you need a lot of stories but however what i will suggest and what i do for example if you ask to write an essay on a hormone you write about the synthesis of that hormone you write about the effects of that hormone you write about the organs that are involved in the synthesis of your hormone the contents of the hormone the regulation of the hormone and all these things you need to put them on different headings yes you can decide to make it a full essay where you write paragraphs yes physiology is okay with writing paragraphs but i will suggest strongly suggest this one i'm not telling you that 
this is what you must do but it's a suggestion i strongly suggest that you write if, if it's a paragraph if you're going to write in paragraphs you start with your introduction then you move down to the synthesis try to put all these paragraphs in under headings so that you you you'll be surprised how many how many um, scripts that your examiner is marking not every examiner has all the time to come and read all your paragraphs to look for whatever you're trying to talk about so if you can write the different headings then put your paragraphs under those headings that would be very nice and if you're if whatever you're asked has diagrams i would so strongly suggest please add the diagrams try and learn these diagrams they will give you extra mark not that physiology is not based on diagrams per se but just add the diagram for the extra you know extra mark like if you ask on the physiological anatomy of the lungs or physiology anatomy of the heart or the kidney or liver try to write about the um, anatomy and remember if you ask on the physiologic anatomy they're asking you for the physiology and the anatomy so that means if you draw the diagram and write whatever you have to write about that organ remember to add the function of that organ so for example if you ask about the physiologic anatomy of the lungs you don't need to go into detail of gross anatomy origin insertion these border surfaces you're just wasting your time what all they want to know is what organs form the respiratory system they ask you for the physiologic anatomy of the respiratory system what organs are involved in the respiratory system you just write about the nasal cavity the pharynx the nasopharynx you know that's what i'm trying to talk about the nasopharynx then you you just talk about all the organs on that respiratory system and you don't need to go into details you just add a note on its function the function of each of these organs then top it up with a diagram so physiology is, is is just stories make sure you give them enough stories stories that make sense please don't write unnecessary stories just because you want to write plenty if you can add headings add headings if you can put in flowchart please put the flowchart it will help you a lot sorry to interrupt you guys sorry 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 but seriously it will be very very unfair of me for me to shoot this video without saying something about the sponsor of this video the sponsor of this video is the Chidera company. She's a medical student. I mean, it's very nice. I feel so happy whenever I see medical students doing things outside medical school because, I mean, your life doesn't revolve around medical school. So that's by the way. So what she does is that she's a content writer. She's a ghost writer. She helps people to write their blog posts, social media content, articles, and eBooks at an agreed affordable rate per word. She also designs e-flyers, YouTube thumbnails, like this thumbnail that I have here. She did it herself. Please, 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 I really need you to appreciate her for me. Thank you so, so much, Chidera, if you're watching this video. Thank you. She also de designs business cards. So please, I will leave her link and her details in my description box. Check her out. There is going to be a discount for you. Just let her know that you're from me. So, okay, bye, 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 bye. Let's get on with the video. Let's continue with the video. <laughs> so I repeat myself. Physiology need your stories. They need your paragraphs. They need your essays. And they need your flowcharts. So if you're writing anything in physiology, if they ask you to write on an essay, if you can put everything in paragraphs and each paragraph has its own heading, that would be nice. If you ask about the physiologic anatomy of whatever system or whatever structure, if you can add a diagram, that would help you a whole lot. And then if you ask about the synthesis of whatever hormone, if you can take, take note of the flow chart of the synthesis of the hormones this the, the regulation of that hormone the synthesis the organs involved in the synthesis the components if you can take note of these things it's even its effects what is the function of that hormone that would help you a whole lot if you've watched this video to this point i'm really grateful thank you so much for watching this video remember by next week come back to this channel same time next week that i'm going to upload the biochemistry of this video the biochemistry how to answer medical biochemistry questions in exam i would upload this video next week please come back and see it remember every wednesdays and saturdays there is always a new video on this channel wednesdays are everything outside the medical school skincare routine emotional struggles hair journey food just everything story time everything that's outside medical school but the, um, every saturdays i post only medical school videos so please um, check you can also check out my other video check out my playlist tab i have different playlists so you can just watch uh, binge on any um, playlist that you are interested in 
and um, please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel if this is the kind of content that you like i'm sure i have something for you on my channel subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up if you like it share this video to your classmates your colleagues your junior colleagues your senior colleagues share this video to those who you think it would help these are things that i did in my time and they worked tremendously well for me and some of the things i've mentioned are also things that i didn't do in my time that i'm regretting so hard and i don't want you to make the same mistake so please if you have any questions if you have any comments please drop it in the comments box remember my email is there for you if you want to communicate with me you can follow me on instagram and and send me a dm on instagram i will always be there to reply you when i can and for emails too i reply my emails like a speed of light in fact as the email is dropping in i replying <laughs> doesn't let me know I'm, I'm obsessed about emails so if you have any question at all any any video at all that you want me to shoot please drop it in my email box and i'll see you next week bye Mwah.